Yeah, last week I saw this girl while I was jogging. Beautiful. She reminded me of someone that I cared about years ago. But here is my plan. I would love him so hard that he would forget whoever he was in love with in the past. I know this is the first time I've ever seen him. But I definitely don't want it to be the last. So you know, everything good just keeps happening to me over and over again. I mean... Is it strange to say I saw this coming? Please don't go. <laughs> You can't force a man to love you. A man who would stay would stay. America is full of junk food and organic food costs a fortune. This is Nigeria. Well, organic food like the one I'm cooking is very affordable. Your happiness has to do with a woman. Flesh and blood in the that's you, my brother. What do women want? If I ended over the phone now, you say I'm a year yeah, boy. If I ever see you an inch close to my sister, okay. I promise you won't leave to tell the story. Answering the door. Can you just get the door for me? And I'm not alone. Is that not Melissa? Our new neighbor? Yeah. You're kidding me. She just moved in and you've already dated her and now you're hiding from her? How? It beats me. I'm, I'm surprised. Well, please, can you just get the door and tell her I'm not alone? No. No way. I'm always doing this for you. I'm not doing this again. You dated her. You, you can go and dismiss her by yourself. Pamela, she is crazy and she's not going to leave that spot until we get the door. And you don't want to believe it, right? You keep. You don't believe it. Just do this. Yeah, 
Bye. And may I help you? I need to talk to your brother. I'm sorry, he's not around. But that's a huge lie. I can see his car parked outside. Yes, but what happened was that he didn't drive today. His friend came to pick him up. Now that's a lie. I could hear his voice. I have a bad habit of leaving the television on and going to bed. Um, it was on all night. That's, that's probably what you heard. I've been calling your brother. He hasn't been taking my calls. Neither has he been replying my messages. I'm starting to go crazy right now. When he comes back, could you tell him to call me? Of course, I will. Bye. Oof. Look at you, how hard was that? My baby sister's getting good at this. I'm so Can pissed. you not touch me or hug me? I just lied to that girl. I just don't know how all this goes fall for you every single time. I'm sorry, sir, but it's an unrealistic budget. Oh, no. My team and I put into consideration all that you asked us to take out. You can't say that this too is unrealistic. Well, as a financial director, I certainly can. All right, all right. Both of you, that's enough. Miss Kanji, get, um, I get where you're coming from. But can I ask you to let um, Chris have a copy of the summarized financial report so he can also be on the same page as you? About about that, sir, I would appreciate it if you give me a little bit of time to come up with um actually sir, I don't have it ready now and I will get it before the end of the day. What do you mean you don't have it ready? You promise to have it ready for this meeting so we can all be on the same page. So Chris can know what budget his team has to allocate to work with for this project. I know, sir, and I apologize for that. But I assure you that before the close of work, it will be ready. This is certainly the first. I do not know you to ever show up to a meeting unprepared. And for that reason, I give you till tomorrow morning to ensure that Chris as a copy of the document and also one sent to me as well. Can I trust you to meet this timeline? Yes, sir. All right, then. Thank you, sir. Bye. Right. In my office, now. Or you just plain stupid. I'm very sorry, Ma. Please. You're very sorry. That's not the question I asked you. I mean, why would I arrange for an online meeting with you and you refuse to pick your call when it was time? I, I, um, I, I'm sorry, Ma. I, I slept off. It's my... It was... 
it wasn't intentional. I just slept. I don't know when I slept off, and I didn't even hear my phone ring. I, it will never happen again. Please forgive me. You heard. You heard the MD, right? He needs to file on his desk by tomorrow. It means that you're not going anywhere today if you don't finish that work. Get out of my office. I'm sorry. What are you still doing? You promised you were going to finish everything you have on time so that you could hang out with Frank and I. But Linda, as you can see, my table is full. My boss has rejected everything I've done today. The last one, she said it was missing a comma, and she shredded the whole document. I mean, who does that just for a single comma? Is that no wickedness? <laughs> okay, calm down. I guess she's just punishing you for sleeping off last night. I guess so. <sighs> Frank is here, I guess. Okay, um, well. Have fun while I stay here chilling with work as usual. Look, I just cannot wait for that promotion list to be out because I'm tired. Talking about that, I heard the HR is already compiling names and pretty soon the list will be out. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. And I don't care what position, you know, as long as I'm not working for my boss anymore so I can have a life. And maybe have someone wait on me after work every day. Like, happy Chris. <laughs> you really have to work. You know what happened today? What? He asked me for my name. <gasps> for real? <laughs> but I just promise, like, I was speechless, like an idiot. Yeah. But. <laughs> Someone cannot just enjoy one moment of laughter without the someone disturbing. She's calling me. Hello, ma. Kelvin, what do you want? I'm tired, please. Mm -mm, we'll talk later. Please, I need to sleep. I I've had a long day at work. advertising firm in this country. Okay. I don't think so. Because if you are, you will not be behaving like somebody who doesn't have value for her job. What is wrong with you? I apologize. Oh, give your stupid apology. Take this to the director's office. Take that to the creative director. You have five minutes to get done with that and be back here. Or you kiss this job goodbye. Okay. Um, I apologize again. Get out! Because the, the, 
the headache you are giving me. Just kill me already. Oh, you just can't shout. Don't. Don't tell me she gave you those. Don't take your job for granted. Speak again. As in, someone who was listening to her would think that I killed somebody, committed some outrageous crime. Oh, so tired. Now, Linda. Oh, calm down, Joe. Oh, Emotionless. Hey, seriously, let me check for me. Let me check for me. Wait. Pamela? The name is not on this list. No, 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 wait. Let me check again. Wait, wait, wait. My name is not. My boss. How come? the names in there, the names of those whose department heads recommended them for a promotion. My boss got a memo to that effect, but she never recommended me for any promotion. What? Exactly. I don't get it. Why would Kamsi do such a thing to you? You worked hard all here. You deserve this. What do I do now, Linda? And the HR said that the window for selling recommendation closes the end of next month. I need that promotion. I desperately need it. That's exactly what you need to tell her. What? Tell my boss that. Am I mad? Oh, you've kept quiet for far too long. Look, you've worked really hard. Trust me, you deserve this. And it's time to demand for it. Look, Lena, that sounds like a really good TED talk. But no. Do you want me to die? Don't you know my boss again? So what? Are you going to pass on this promotion? Or wait another two years slaving for her and hoping that she would recommend you for promotion again? Come on, Pamela. I don't know. You need this. You have to get this. I don't know, but there just has to be another way because I can't miss out on this promotion. <sighs> Talk of the devil. Yeah, she's calling me. Look, I have to go. I have to go get back to work. Okay, but just give it a thought. I okay? have to go. She's calling me. to approach in the morning and I'm hoping that you can handle the affairs of the company till I get back. Yes ma, you have nothing to worry about. I... 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 Um, no, actually nothing, Ma. I'll just get back to my desk. Mm. Um, is there where I saw Vicky just now? Yeah, she had a fight to catch, so she had to be there to do. That is good news. Why did I say that? Get a close walk like no people. That doesn't have enough reason for you to be excited. No. What's the point? So what? I get a free pass today. But the fact still remains that we need to on that promotion list. And I'll probably die being a peer to the worst human on earth. And that's goodbye to me having a life. I'm always here working. So tell me. One free day? I mean, it's not one celebrity, Jerry. Well, when you put it like that, I understand. Just that, Kamsi wasn't always like that, you know. Once upon a time, she used to be a very happy person. <laughs> Kamsi, happy. Kamsi can never be happy. 
except she's extracting happiness out of somebody. She's horrible. I'm serious. Can't say you used to be so loving and nice. Really? You know, when I came here looking for a job, she was the one that interviewed me. Tell me about it. <laughs> I was so scared and clumsy. But she was very understanding. Really? Yeah, she gave me time to get a grip over myself. And finally, I started just came. I even forgot I was an interview. That's crazy. The same crazy. I tell you. But everything sort of changed, you know, after the wedding age. Okay, you told me about her calling off her wedding. What really happened? No one knows. She used to have a best friend that comes around. Then all of a sudden she stopped coming. It felt like she disappeared. At the same time. I don't know. All I know is that Kamsi lost a friend and a lover and suddenly turned into this ice cold and unbearable person. Frank is here. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, I just want to go home and I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm
woman and get out of the house. outside. Look at you, you say you are cheating. Will you follow me? Can I sit? Of course, it's your house. I'm sorry, it's my house. Sit down. I want out of this marriage. As you walk out of that door, out of my life, or I will haunt you down and kill you. Hey, Jesus, when I bring them out, hey, the owner of this place just have an accident now. Accident? Yeah, we're going to suffer in the last person in court. Uh, where are you? We're taking it to the hospital now. Uh, uh, okay, and I know I. So, what hospital are you going to? We did all we could. And it is to this most high God that our brother, Senator Shiko, will be returned to. This is not the end of it. I'm not talking about something. I'm talking about my money. Come on for me. I found you dead. What are my husband's photos doing? I asked for a seamstress, not a lunatic. Are you up to your antics again? Most times people actually do look alike. Auntie Sandra, this is not look alike. This is something for sure. Where was this picture taken? I am gone with the wind. Will I miss you, my beloved wife? Yes. Kelvin is my brother, but he's the type of guy you never pray to meet. He doesn't stay in relationships. Is that not Melissa, our new neighbor? She just moved in and you've already dated her and now you're hiding from her? How? He beats me. I'm, I'm surprised. For him, the new excites him and then when he gets bored, he just trashes them and dumps them. Look, I, I want a breakup. It's over. Remember my boss now? Yeah, your weird, crazy boss that it seems like she doesn't have a life. Exactly her. Don't tell me she gave you those. Don't take your job for granted. Speech again. As in, someone who was listening to her would think that I killed somebody or committed some outrageous crime. He needs to file on his desk by tomorrow. It means that you're not going anywhere today if you don't finish that work. Get out of my office. I did something that will bring some joy back into her life. In fact, as we speak, she's meeting with someone that would change her life. Linda, things are so awkward at home. Do you know that my boss slept over last night? Kamsi makes me very happy, and I am not going to give that up for anything. Kevin feels like an answer prayer. And he saved me from going back to that, to that man. Oh, that is so sweet and romantic. Sounds like they're having fun. This is not romantic. This is a disaster waiting to happen. This one is a playboy. All he does is ignore you until he drives you start feeling mad. You'll be at his door banging early in the morning. Just shut up. Just shut up. How do you string somebody along, trash them when you feel like, and expect them to take it in good faith? Who does that? I'm screwed. I'm pregnant. You think you're just going to get rid of me that easy? Girl, you've got another thing coming. See, I would die before I leave. 